Hey, so what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video what I want to go over is a video going on to like Avengers Endgame, going on to like a theory, going on to an explainer kind of more or less, kind of going on to like a theory and just basically going over how I feel the Avengers are going to go on and defeat Thanos. So it's not really going to be a really long video or whatever, so you know I'll go over some bits of news recently in the past maybe a few days, past day or so, and you know just basically go over all of that in the video as well towards like the end. And uh, you know before we get into it as well, if you want to and you're new around here, you can subscribe for more Marvel videos, you know just subscribe if you want to See more Marvel videos and more videos in like general or whatever, you know, you can comment down below if you want to as well. Leave a like if you went on to enjoy the video, and uh, let's get into it. So starting it off, you know there's going to be, you know, like time travel and everything in this movie. We've seen so many examples for this. You know, we have the like uh, like quantum suits, you know, we have everything going on there. We have the whole wristbands going on, which, you know, we've seen set photos from like Avengers 1 or the first Avengers. You know, basically, I'm pretty sure like around a year ago, we saw a load of stuff going into that, which, you know, is going to be going on and going over like, you know, time travel and everything. So my whole kind of like theory is going to be going on to time travel. One of the many things I want to go over, one of the basically like the biggest thing I want to go over and where exactly it's going to be kind of like taking place place. I do believe the first place we're going to see basically, you know, like the Avengers versus Thanos is going to be on Xandar. Now, I do believe this because we didn't get it in like Infinity War. Obviously, you know what they're going to want to do before Thanos gets any stone at all. Now obviously the power stone is going to be like a really powerful stone and saying that, you know, all the stones in general are going to be really powerful. Now obviously the Avengers are going to want to go on and basically, you know, stop Thanos before he gets any stone and you know, going on to the power stone, it's going to be a really powerful stone. Obviously it's going and dealing with like power and everything and you know, without him having like one of the stones, it's going to mix up the whole kind of like Infinity War timeline. So you know, if they went away and stopped him before he got the power stone, all of Infinity War is going to be changed up, all of that movie, it's going to be kind of really different, it's just going to be completely different. And going on to it, I've always kind of felt, you know, the Infinity War trailer, you know, like the, basically those scenes where we didn't actually get to go on and see them happen in Infinity War. And I believe the scenes we didn't get in like Infinity War, so you know, the ones that are basically in the trailer, so you know, Hulk and everything, I do believe that is going to be parts of like basically, you know, the Endgame trailer, I do believe that's going to be part of like the Endgame movie or whatever. I don't believe they're going to reveal it basically, you know, going on to it in like trailers or whatever, I don't think they'd be kind of like, I don't think they would go on and kind of do it that easily, I don't think they'd want to go away and basically, you know, like reveal anything about the movie. And I believe some parts in the, you know, Infinity War trailer is going to be basically in the Endgame movie. I don't believe they're going to go on and basically, you know, like reveal it in trailers or whatever. I don't think they'd go on and kind of, you know, you know, like basically reveal anything in the trailer, which would have basically just given away anything like really big spoilers because, you know, they're going to be going on and giving away in like TV spots and like trailers and everything. They're only going to be giving away apparently now the first 15 to 20 minutes of the movie, which, you know, it's not going to be a lot. Obviously, you know, we can see a load of this from like basically the trailers. You can see a load of this from the TV spot we got maybe, you know, like a week or two ago, we got a lot of stuff in that actual TV spot. We got a lot of, you know, like new footage. And going on to it, if the Avengers actually go on and basically defeat Thanos at Xandar, which, you know, definitely could happen, you know, Loki's not actually going to die, which, you know, a load of people, I know a load of people have went on and they've said Loki's not really going to be dead because he wasn't acting the same way he usually was in Infinity War, which, you know, to be honest, I'm not too sure exactly how to feel. I do believe for like the sake of it, I do believe he's alive. I want to say he is alive. Obviously, you know, a bit of news kind of dropped maybe earlier on, but going on to like, you know, like the Loki TV show or whatever, going on to all of that. So I might go over it in a minute or two. But, you know, going on to it, I don't believe Loki is actually going to be dead, technically. I do believe he's going to be kind of, you know, hiding it out, basically, kind of like, you know, not really being there, but, you know, technically he's being there. Like, I've done a video maybe a few weeks ago as well, going on to Loki, mind-controlling Thanos, which, you know, to be honest, is really far-fetched when you go on and kind of think about it. But, you know, it definitely could happen, considering it's like the MCU, you know, there's a load of stuff which is not going to happen, which, you know, it could happen because, you know, it is the MCU, as I just said, everything is kind of, like, it has a possibility, basically. And going on to where exactly I think the Avengers are actually going to go up against like Thanos and everything, where there's going to be Captain Marvel, where there's going to be all of that. You know, honestly, I do believe it will be on Titan for some reason. It could be on Earth, you know, it definitely could be on Earth. But to be honest, I'm kind of leaning towards Titan for some reason. I do believe it would be, you know, kind of like the best place to go on and do it. Maybe, you know, Thanos is like home planet or like Titan 2 or whatever, you know, definitely could be there as well. But to me, I'd much rather kind of be, you know, like actual Titan, basically him fighting on his home planet. I do believe that would kind of like basically be the best place to go on and do it. And going on and saying that, I do believe all the basically like Avengers, I do believe all the people in the movie are going to have this kind of like part basically of defeating Thanos. They're all going to have this like separate scene where they're all going to be going up against Thanos one on one. And you know, to be honest, 
I can't wait to see if that's going to be happening because, you know, some people said before, maybe like a year ago, there's going to be a scene in one of the movies which is going to be containing like 40 plus characters at once, which, you know, is going to be, it's going to be really insane to go on and kind of like think about having that just basically be on like, you know, screen or whatever. It's going to be kind of like really insane to go on and kind of see stuff like that actually happen. And going on to Tony and what's going to be happening to basically him in the movie, what I believe is going to be happening and everything, I do believe he's going to like basically wield some kind of form of gauntlet which is going to have the infinity stones because you know, because you know there's been like talks and everything about going into different dimensions, about going into time travel which you know, I'm going to be really excited to see if they're going to be like you know doing a lot of time travel which you know I'd assume they're going to be going on and doing a lot of them and you know going on to like different universes or going on to like different dimensions, I do believe it is technically like really possible for it to happen but I do believe time travel is going to happen a lot more likely and it is definitely going to happen compared to like you know going into different universes or going into different kind of like dimensions and going on to when exactly i think thanos is actually going to be going on and being defeated i do believe he's going to be defeated around maybe the second act i don't believe he's going to be defeated in like the third act i don't definitely i definitely 100 percent don't believe that he's going to be killed off for some reason i just i really don't see them going on and killing him off because you know marvel is owned by disney and disney i'm pretty sure has never technically killed off someone because you know even in marvel they're technically killed off but they're more likely just going to be considered dusted and like disney's eyes or whatever so i definitely don't believe they're going to be going on and killing off a villain and coming to think of it i'm pretty sure no villain was actually killed off maybe in black panther and you know other than black panther or whatever i'm pretty sure no other like villain was actually killed off maybe one or two here and there maybe ultron technically but you know and going on to ultron i know i've done a video maybe like a week ago or whatever going on to ultron if he's going to be in the like tv spot or if he's going to be in endgame you know to be honest it's really far-fetched for ultron to actually be in it you know because like why would ultron ever have to be in it how would they go about creating it even though you could technically like you could argue tony is going to be basically making him on titan with like nebula or whatever but you know to be honest after like giving it a week or whatever going into like a theory going basically over my thoughts again over like the past week or whatever i don't really believe it is going to be kind of like ultron being made it's just, it's just basically more than likely going to be like a new suit or it's basically going to be a way to get back to earth which you know is definitely going to be the most likely out of like the two Going over a bit of news going on to the Loki TV show, basically going on to Avengers Endgame, going over the second trailer and everything. The second trailer for Avengers Endgame is going to release later on this month, or it's going to be early next month, which you know is going to be basically late February, early March. And you know, I'm not sure exactly when exactly it's going to be. People have said, you know, Oscars, which I don't really believe, to be honest. I've done a video actually, you know, basically just before this going on to it, if you want to go and kind of like check it out. But um, basically going on to it, you know, I don't really believe it's going to release around Oscars. I do believe it's going to release basically maybe like a week before Captain Marvel or a week after Captain Marvel. Going on to the Loki TV show and going over everything there, you know, basically it's just going to be Loki and it's going to be him going throughout like basically history and he's going to be like popping up as a shapeshifter and stuff. He's going to be popping up and being like an influencer to what could actually be happening in history, which, you know, personally, I do think it's going to be really cool. I can't wait to see what's going to be going on. And, you know, to be honest, I'm just really excited for the TV show and, you know, there's going to be Scarlet Witch, which I'm pretty sure we haven't seen anything or we haven't heard anything like news related in basically like a while or whatever. But, you know, overall, I'm pretty excited for the two TV shows i'm pretty excited for endgame and you know basically it's been pretty much here for the whole video so you know obviously i hope you went on to enjoy the video and everything you know if you're new around here you can like subscribe leave a like and comment down below i'll have a doom patrol review post later on tomorrow and you know tomorrow as well is going to be like another flash video and you know i have a week off or maybe two weeks off so i'm going to be doing a lot more like double uploads or whatever maybe a live stream here and there as well so you know you can look forward to that as well if you want to and you know just obviously hope you went on to enjoy the video and uh you know just hope you have a great day and everything as well and uh Goodbye.